It's game day. Seminole fans as Florida State travels to top-ranked Clemson to take on the Tigers 3.30 p.m. on ABC. I'm Lane Hurt along with Jonathan Chalasi. Before we get to our keys of this game, you know, it's silent in here now, but we know it's going to be an absolutely raucous atmosphere. Well, first time they're going to be the number one team in the country in this stadium. They've been number one a long time ago when they won the national championship. They haven't been number one. This fan, these fans are ready for it. Now let's get to the keys of the game. We have three keys for you. First one, starting in the backfield for the Seminoles, Dalvin Cook. A lot of talk about will McGuire start, will Golson start. I think people are missing the point. I think things start with number four. Oh, you're absolutely right. That is exactly where it starts. I, I don't think it matters who is under quarterback. As long as Dalvin Cook's 100%, that gives Florida State the best opportunity to win this game. He's been a big play back all season long. The key is, can he get a couple of those big plays? Yeah, that, that's huge. I mean, we've seen it all year long, but now he's had a long time to rest. You know, we, we know he was out with the injury, but that's a long time to rest up, and he was practicing for the first time in quite some time. So I think, I, I think we've got 100% uh, healthy Dalvin Cook. Key number two, getting off the field on third downs for the Seminole defense. Deshaun Watson, one of the best quarterbacks in the entire country. Clemson's offense has been rolling of late. You got to take advantage of those opportunities when you can get them off the field. Yeah, I mean, if you give these guys any sort of opportunities, they're going to take advantage of those. Uh, you, you've seen them score 50, 49 points. I mean, high 40s, low 50 points. You can't have that today. A low scoring game really benefits the Seminoles. Yeah, which means you've got to get out and tackle in space. We did a story on that this, this week. Florida State's corners and safety guys have done a good job of tackling out in space. you got to limit those big plays. Yeah, you talked to Mark West White and, and did all that. You know, These corners have done a really, really good job. And uh, Demarcus Walker in your story said, you know, it doesn't matter just for this defense. He said any defense. If you have your corners tackling, that's huge. And then key number three, you look at the special teams. Clemson's kick return defense has been one of the worst in the country. Florida State's done a good job of returning kicks when they've had the opportunities. Plus, then you look at guys like Cason Beatty and Roberto Aguayo. Cason Beatty has had a very, very strong season. He had a strong second half last year, and he's carried it over into this year. He's booming punts. He, he looks very good this year. Roberto Aguayo, this is his, has been his worst season yet. Can he bounce back finally? He wasn't able to last game. Can he finally have that good game yet? And like I said, Florida State's been going a long way on offense all season long. Can the special teams give Florida State a short field on a couple of drives so they don't have to go 10, 11 play drives to score a touchdown? Rather, you know, four, five, six yard four or five six play drives yeah no, i mean we've seen florida state be more successful in those shorter drives a long drive we've seen kind of stall out for florida state they've had a call on roberto aguayo with those long drives so can we get uh, i agree four or five play drives that'd be huge and there we go seminole fans it's the Knolls and the top ranked tigers 3 30 p.m Make sure you stick with Seminoles.com, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, everything you need before, during, and after the game. Afterwards, we'll have highlights and post-game reaction, and senior writer Tim Linnefelt will have his analysis as well. For Jonathan Schlacey, I'm Lane Hurt. Go Knowles.